We're learning more now about what may have led up to the fire that left dozens of residents homeless. It happened yesterday at the crossings at Pinebrook Apartment Complex. 22-year-old Jared Thomas is now charged with arson after he admitted to starting the blaze. News 5's Katerina Lukatic spoke with one displaced resident who sheds light on what might have happened Saturday morning. It's just so hard even just seeing it all again. Just memories of the flames. Jared Pine says he doesn't know if he'll ever get over what he saw early Saturday morning. People scrambling for their lives as the building went up in flames. As one of those who lost everything, Pine cannot wrap his head around the fact someone did this on purpose. He deserves every bit of jail time they give him. Pine says neighbors heard a fight coming from Jared Thomas's apartment shortly before smoke started filling the halls. I just don't understand how could you be over the age of 20 and not be mature enough to know when to call it quits. Last night, Thomas indicated the fight may have been over a girl. You know, I'm a very emotional guy when it comes to females. Residents tell us this isn't the first issue they've had with Thomas. Jared Pine says he, along with multiple other residents, have issued complaints with the complex against Thomas and his friends. If you ask me, the apartment complex should have done something about them when we, they got the first 20 calls. There's no reason to wait this long until something like this happens. We spoke with friends of Thomas who were not willing to go on camera. Camera, but tell us they believe Thomas may have a mental illness. Jared Pine says for him, that's no excuse. I've met plenty of people with mental illnesses before, and I've never seen someone just react in such a way where you're willing to burn down a whole apartment complex because we're, we're homeless now. Pine still considers himself lucky having family in the area he can stay with until he hears back from his insurance company. For many others who lost everything in the fire, they remain in area shelters. In Mobile, Katarina Lukatic, News 5. And the Red Cross was on the scene immediately after the fire, helping those whose apartments were destroyed find temporary housing. Pre residents tell us apartment complex managers have said they will refund their last month's rent.